What is up and welcome to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin and in this video I'm going to be custom painting a tribute card to Paul Walker in the video game Forza Horizon 4. November 30th, 2020 marks the seven year anniversary of Paul Walker passing away. So I decided on that day I was going to live stream a custom painting. I was going to do it all live and I went ahead and did that. Um, the first part of this video, you're going to see the results of that painting. And then also near the end, I do have a second painting. I ended up deciding to completely restart just because there were some things I just couldn't get right um, without having to do a lot of work. So it was easier to just restart. Anyways, so here is the painting. I'm going to show how I did it. This is the actual in-game editor. There's a vinyl group. So if you look online and you play the game, you can download pre-made vinyls. These are made by other users and there's a bunch of cool designs, but the way that you make those designs are actually in the in-game editor and I call it painting or custom painting, but it's not really painting. Um, it's actually more of a shape editor, um, but I'm going to go ahead and drop down a color on the car. I always like to start with a solid pink color and you can actually paint directly on the car or apply the vinyls directly to the car. That's what I'm going to do here. But there's also a way to apply vinyls in a kind of broken out area, which I'm going to do for Paul Walker. That way I can do it off the car. But you'll see it still is in game and it's very challenging because it's moving these somewhat primary shapes or kind of basic shapes around. And you are able to change the size of them as far as the left right coordinates, making it bigger, as well as kind of the skew and shifting the angle of it. So using all of those, you pretty much have kind of a basic way of building uh, image. And there's these are the actual shapes. So most of them are pretty basic. And then there's some random kind of like tribal stuff. This one was a Forza Horizon Motorsport logo. And I picked the perfect color blue for my car. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to turn it around backwards and use it more of kind of a design than the actual logo. I wanted to show this off in real time just so anybody who's not played the game or gone in the in-game editor has a good understanding of how long it takes to put a decal down, you can size it, and especially if you take more time, you can definitely make some cool shapes and different designs. But this one, I resized it and kind of made it like the old Nissan Skyline from the Fast and Furious movies. Inspired by, got the dual racing stripes because we all know racing stripes make you go faster. And on each side, there is a limit. You can actually do 3000 layers on each side. Um, this is a huge improvement from the original game. A lot of people don't know this, but I used to actually play the original Forza when it came out, and I would make these designs on that game editor, which was very similar. The only difference was instead of 3,000 layers, you only had 100. So making faces and other detailed things like this were a huge challenge. And part of it is finding shapes that kind of look like it, or bigger shapes that you can use to block things in, and then you come in with the details on top. Um, what you can see on here, this is what I'm doing. I kind of blocked everything in, basic shapes, and I'm fine tuning everything using fades as well as some of the as other transparent kind of shapes. Um, but everything for the most part is a shape. It doesn't really have easy blends or anything like that. You can't really paint in here, which is a huge challenge. And for somebody like myself, who is mainly a traditional artist, I do some digital work, but mainly on a tablet. This is just a different way of thinking. So it took me a long time to do. And this is my first attempt. Uh, I did do this on a live stream. I did make some mistakes here. One of the first mistakes I made was my reference image. The reference image that I picked, it was really nice and black and white and a really good high res image. The problem that I had with it is that it just didn't really capture Paul Walker or at least Paul Walker that we knew from the Fast and the Furious movies. So you'll see in a little bit here, um, I got to the end and I did change the eyes to blue and I made some other changes that were recommended by people that were helping and watching, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't get it right. One problem with the in-game editor is that when you have a lot of layers, you can have up to 3000. Say you have an image like that. Uh, if you want to move one little piece, you have to go through all of those layers to find that piece and then move it. And that being said, it can create a huge issue on a detailed image, especially a face where you have to make a lot of minor adjustments after the fact. I went ahead and got all this done and you guys let me know that it needs some changes. So I went ahead and made some changes to it. Uh, and I do agree. There were some things that made it, it did not look like Paul Walker um, and it needed some fix. So I went ahead and made those changes and I posted it on Reddit to get some feedback, which if you ever need feedback on art, I would highly suggest going to Reddit. I'm going to give you the best honest feedback. 
So here was my post on Reddit, and here's the responses I got. So definitely some good stuff. Um, it gave me some really good feedback as far as the proportions being off, which I already knew that. I just didn't know exactly what. Um, but there were some people pointing out the teeth are too big, the eyes are too big, this and that need to be shifted. Um, somebody also let me know that it's not Paul Walker, that it looked like more like his brother. I actually looked that up, and it is true. And it had the serial killer thing going on. When I saw that comment, I just knew I had to completely restart fresh. There was no fixing this. And to be honest, moving things around, I think it was just making it more and more scary. Um, and, and like a lot of people pointed out, and we also have some Brazilian Ronaldo references, Gerard Pick. Um, so just overall, the fact that it looked like more people than it did look like Paul was a huge problem for me. So I went ahead and I just decided in memory of Paul Walker to go ahead and do it right and completely restart. So here we go. This is the final attempt. And you can see I'm laying in the basic shapes again. I went ahead and also was trying to get the right exact tone. So I played around even from the beginning with the tone just on the base color. And that is something that I found was a huge difference. Um, the first time around, I think I made everything a little bit too dark. This time around, I found starting with a base of solid medium tone and then coming back in with some dark tones and then the highlights was a really good way to set the value. You can already see on here it's starting to look somewhat like a face, or at least the shape of it. Um, still kind of looks weird and blocky, but it is just the base. And now I'm coming in with some of the highlights. And as I add more and more, you can kind of see it will start to make more of a face shape. But I'm using the principle of going from least detailed to most detailed, which is a really good practice when you're painting. It helps you kind of keep everything in line and it also makes it so you're not getting focused in on the details of anything first. Um, a lot of people will use this in painting or oil painting. I don't know if it's technically used a lot in other things, but it definitely works for this Forza game. And it helps break everything down instead of getting overwhelmed. Um, which the face can be a pretty challenging thing uh, to do correctly just because there are so many angles and things that can affect it, proportions as well as, as, well as what direction it's looking at, and it'll look completely different. So getting these angles and everything right are really important, especially if you're trying to have likeness to somebody, uh, like a famous person or something like that. So I went ahead and did this, and it's starting to look more like a face. And at this point, it started to look a little bit like Paul Walker to me, um, but there definitely are some kind of key features in here that are going to make a huge difference. So one of the other things that will make a huge difference too is what your background is. You can see I was able to toggle between a light and dark background here, and it makes a huge difference. And I was using that to kind of to help me out, get all the lights in as well as make it so I can see what, what it would look like on a different color car. And I really wanted to do this for the hair to keep it so if I did put it on a different color car, that it would still look like hair. It wouldn't have like a halo effect, if that makes sense. So in here, I am just using kind of like some random shapes. I used some flames as well as some other random shapes to make the hair. And then I used a little blending shape to kind of connect the different lines and make them look more like hair rather than just random shapes and decals. And I'm gonna keep doing that and blending everything out using transparencies on the hair. And instead of having to do individual strains, I'm just focusing on the ones that are big. That way I can still have a look of hair and detail without it actually having every single strand of hair in there. And a lot of this is just really, really careful placement of the little decals and using transparencies. Um, if you can do this well, you can make pretty much any image. Uh, it just takes a lot of time and patience and just kind of fine tuning. But once I was at a certain point, I got the hair down and it looked like hair from far enough away. I moved on to some of the other features. One of the most important things was going to be his chin line as well as the eyebrows. And trying to get these right were a challenge, but I went ahead and just kept on doing it as well as the smile. For me, smiles were very, very challenging. Feels like if you go slightly too much of a smile, it just makes it look very, very, very awkward. So that being said, I had to do practices and kind of get it down to give it a signature Paul Walker smile. And finally, I saved the eyebrows for last, and the reason why I did this is because a slight adjustment to the eyebrows can really change the expression as well as the likeness of a face. But once I was happy, I went ahead and saved the face, and I moved on to a quote from Paul Walker. So I found this quote online, if one day speed kills me, do not cry because I was smiling. And this is kind of like a quote for me. Um, I'm not trying to enable speed demons or, or anything like that. 
but it's more of just a reminder that life is short and to follow your passion and do things your whole life that you're passionate about. With all the different elements complete, I went ahead and placed them on the car. I went ahead and put Paul Walker on the hood and then the quote on the back top of the trunk. Went ahead and saved that. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick in game. There's a really cool photo op right down the street from my house. But first I gotta take out the trash real quick. And in the game, I love how all of the environmental effects affect how the car actually handles. So this is a super slippery road and it makes for a lot of fun kind of driving experiences. So here we go on the main road and it's just a couple blocks from here. I thought it was pretty interesting. I already had somebody commenting nice car. So appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna take a little secret side trip. You gotta go through this fence. Super important to go through that fence there. And then once you get through this fence, you're just gonna go a little further up. You gotta go through that fence to get back on the other side. And then gonna make a right here. And when you get a second, turn around and there you go. So this is a pretty cool photo op in the game and it is right down the street from my house in game, of course. But you can see there, you got some great photo ops. But the purpose of this, I really wanted to just check out the car. There's a good shot of the hood. And on the back here, you can see I've got the Toyo tires. My license plate is just Forza and Horizon combined to make Horizon. And here's the quote. I thought it was pretty cool the way it kind of was on here. So you can see the one part of it, if one day speed kills me, do not cry because. And if you come down here, you can see Paul Walker and I was smiling. Anyways, that about wraps it up for the design. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. I really hope everyone enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's any other designs that you'd like to see, you can also let me know those as well. And make sure also let me know how many layers you think this took to make, as well as how many hours in the comments below. I will be doing a surprise giveaway and shout out to the person who gets the closest or spot on. If you did enjoy this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as share and feel free to check out my other art on here as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I post my newest videos. And until next time, peace.